This is an example of full-sized mold blowing. The overall shape and geometry of the object was created with its decoration by blowing it into a mold. Full-size mold blowing begins like any other blown glass process. Glass is gathered on the end of the blowpipe. It's lightly marvered to make the glass perfectly round and perfectly concentric with the blowpipe, but also to make the gather somewhat cylindrical. Air is blown in for an initial bubble that is elongated to form a tube. The glass is reheated and lowered into a terracotta two-part mold. This was made by David Hill. The mold is opened. You can see that it's lightly coated with soot to keep the glass from sticking. A slight constriction is made between the blowpipe and the tubular neck. This vessel does not have a punty mark, so in order to finish the rim, it's held with a clamp at the base. The clamp has been preheated to about a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. The tweezers or pincers are held against the neck and a slight tap breaks the neck. The vessel opening is held at the mouth of the furnace and when it softens after a few moments a conical tool is used to push to force upward and inward the rim. This is the beginning of the folded lip or folded edge and last it's given its final profile. The vessel has two small handles. They begin with tiny gathers after the initial contact point on the shoulder the glass is cut free of the gathering iron the second attachment point is made, and Roman handles never have shear marks, so the excess glass is cast free. It leaves a tiny thread down the center of the handle. thin thread is pulled and dragged along the thicker part of the glass. The vessel is flashed in the furnace to make sure that the handles and the thin vessel are about the same temperature and it's placed in the annealing oven for slow cooling.